Former Congressman George Santos is expected to plead guilty today to charges connected with lies that he told while running for Congress. ABC's Aaron Katursky tells us what else to expect from the former congressman as he heads off to court. This morning, sources tell ABC News disgraced former Congressman George Santos is expected to plead guilty to multiple federal charges and admit to a wide range of fraudulent schemes. Santos had maintained his innocence for more than a year. The reality is, is it's a witch hunt. As recently as last week, he reaffirmed his not guilty plea to 23 counts, including fraud, identity theft, and making false statements. Federal prosecutors said he charged donor credit cards without authorization, bought designer clothing with campaign money, and took unemployment benefits meant for people affected by the COVID-19 pandemic while he was working. He understands the seriousness of those charges, the fact that he could be facing 20 years in federal prison, and this might be an opportunity for him to avoid jail time or to minimize the amount of time altogether by taking a plea. The terms of the expected plea agreement are not clear, including the exact charges Santos may plead to or what the sentencing could be. Santos served in Congress less than a year before he became just the sixth lawmaker expelled from the House of Representatives. He admitted lying about much of his background, including his education, employment, and family history. Of late, he has been making videos on Cameo. I hope you have a fantastic birthday. And has launched an account on OnlyFans. Santos was supposed to go on trial starting September 9th at this courthouse. Instead, this anticipated plea arrangement came together in just the last couple of days with prosecutors and defense attorneys on Friday asking the judge to set a hearing, which she put on the calendar for this afternoon. Aaron Katursky, ABC News, Central Islip, New York.